Key West, Florida is 90 miles away from the mainland. That would make you think that the only way to get there would be by sea, especially in the 1910s. Sure, nowadays you can drive or fly there, but a hundred years ago, there was another way to get there that you might not expect. At the turn of the 20th century, the Florida East Coast Railroad was continuing to extend its mainline down the east coast of the Sunshine State. The railroad CEO at the time, Henry Flagler, had a more ambitious expansion plan for the railroad. In 1905, the construction of the Panama Canal was announced, and with that, Key West would become the U.S.'s close deep water port to the canal. It was anticipated that many ships then would choose to stop at Key West on journeys around the world to refuel. This would connect Key West to the rest of the world, and create a demand for shipping things to and from the port. At the time, there was no land connection from the mainland to Key West, so whoever built that connection could stand to make a considerable profit. This is exactly what Flagler wanted, and the Florida East Coast Railroad was going to do. By 1905, surveyors had planned a route and engineers had estimated that construction would take seven years and cost over $50 million, which is $1.25 billion today. Construction would also require an estimated 17 million yards of material and contain 25 miles of bridges. And even though the railroad followed the islands of the Florida Keys, the longest bridge would be seven miles. At one point, the project would employ 4,000 men. During construction, three hurricanes would damage the railroad, and the project was assumed by many in the railroad industry to be absurd, calling it Flagler's Folly. Working conditions during construction were so rough that the railroad was actually prosecuted under slave kidnapping law. This was because many immigrants who were brought into work were charged outrageous transportation fees if they ever wanted to leave Key West after seeing the unsafe working conditions and disease-ridden living conditions. But nonetheless, the project carried on. In 1912, the project was complete, with Flagler riding into Key West on the first train, with the railroad at the time being regarded as one of the eighth wonders of the world. The railroad was initially a success, transporting fuel and various cargo to the port of Key West, but as more modern ships with longer ranges started becoming more popular, most ships were bypassing the fuel stop in Key West, and most cargo was just shipped directly from mainland ports. By the 1920s, the railroad was of little use for cargo purposes, but it did find another use. The railroad was the fastest way to get out to the Florida Keys, which were becoming an increasingly popular vacation destination, especially with the arrival of the railroad. The railroad is responsible for transforming Key West into the vacation destination that it is today. But it would ultimately be the harsh weather and the bankruptcy of the Florida East Coast Railroad that would both happen at the worst possible time. Following the Great Depression, the overall downturn in the economy led to reduced passenger and freight traffic. This decline was especially obvious on a line to a vacation spot such as Key West, and the railroad would eventually file for bankruptcy in 1931. When a hurricane hit Key West in 1935 and damaged most of the line as well as railroad resources in the area, the cost of rebuilding was too much for the bankrupt railroad to bear. When the state of Florida offered $650,000 for the line and bridges for a conversion to a highway, the railroad quickly agreed. The Overseas Highway was then opened in 1938 and still exists today though many of the original railroad bridges have been replaced, but they still stand as fishing piers. Henry Flagler wouldn't live to see this reality, as he would die a year after construction was completed. He was seemingly the only one crazy enough to build a railroad to Key West, transforming it into the vacation spot that it is today. Unfortunately, poor timing put an end to the route, but it is still an interesting story. Be sure to subscribe for more.